party people! Let's hang out together today. Not exactly sure what the day is going to bring. I, <laughs> I'm actually feeling a little overwhelmed right now. I have a wall of boxes behind you. It's not moving day yet. Haven't even packed despite the state of my house. Uh, we ordered a patio set from Home Depot. Spent an arm and a leg, but uh, hopefully we got what we want. I have no idea. We haven't opened any boxes. Let me show you what I'm looking at. My house feels dark <laughs> because the window is completely covered. So that's our big patio set. One of many big purchases we need to make for the new house. Alex and I are actually going furniture shopping in a few days. We need to buy a couch. It's one of the only things that we're buying new along with like mattresses. Oh my gosh, I found some headboards on Facebook Marketplace. Maybe I'll be able to pick those up today. Trying to tell you what we're doing today. I plan on going to, what's that place called? Habitat for Humanity. Maybe a little, a couple of antique stores. I don't know. I'm in the market for some furniture to fill up the house that is at least double, if not more than double the size of this house. Everyone's getting their own rooms. They're getting new beds. They're getting, we're getting, we just need stuff, okay? And you guys know how I love to buy things secondhand. I like reusing things. I like finding old things that like make me think, oh, what was their life before they met me? And then we'll probably come home and maybe do some meal prep, maybe share dinner. Who the heck knows? I'm just glad I'm spending the day with you. I always have a good time doing that. But before we, I don't know what the first thing we're gonna do. I'll try to decide in my head. But this video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Humongous thanks to them for continuing to support my channel. It is a huge deal that they are supporting me. I love the fact that you support me when I have sponsored content. I truly appreciate you always and forever, always and forever. If you're unaware, Thrive Market is an online based market and they're on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable. You can order online on their website, you can order using their app, all the stuff that you order comes straight to your door. This month I made some really cool, I mean I always go to the new section of their website or app and see what's new. Well this time I think I typed in holiday. I found some, I've actually been gnawing on them. Where'd they go? Here they are. I have basically eaten the entire bag. But I found these when I typed in holiday and they did not disappoint. <laughs> I also found some really cool other things on there. They sell so much more than food. They sell cleaning products, uh, home products, baby products, diapers, wipes. They sell beauty products, supplements, paper towels. You name it, I bought a yoga mat there once. They sell essential oils. Uh, anything you can think of, you search it on Thrive Market and they probably have it. And speaking of laundry detergent, <laughs> I bought some of that this time, but it's not liquid. It's like better for the environment and that's their whole shtick. They're better for the environment. It's better for your wallet. The members on average save like $35 an order, which is fantastic if you compare Thrive Market prices to uh, you know your typical store prices. And more than that, they have a price match guarantee. Anyway, so I got this laundry detergent, but it's in strips. And I had these before and they worked just fine. Not these specific ones. I tried a different brand, but I saw these on Thrive Market. I knew I had to try them out. So I'll let you know how that goes. Maybe we should throw a load of laundry in today as well because you know, laundry's never ending. And this month I got frozen food for the first time. I know Thrive Market has been offering frozen food for some time, but I got some frozen food. I stocked up on some quick, easy dinner ideas some gluten-free things for the kids, some lunches, some snacks. You know, I just look around their website and I'm like, what looks good? Surprisingly, a lot of their frozen stuff was out of stock, so you gotta jump on that when that moment comes, when it comes back in stock, because it sells out fast, because everyone loves Thrive Market. So if you wanna give Thrive Market a try, you can use my link in the description box below, thrivemarket.com slash the wads, to get 25% off of your first order and a free gift. Oh my gosh, I think I got a free gift in my order. I feel like I always get a free gift in my order because they are so good to their members. They often have sales and deals and all that good stuff. So if you've been thinking about it for a while because you've heard me talk about it for so many months now. So I would encourage you to just check it out and see if it's something that you're interested in. If you are, 
use my link in the description box below and then we'll both be happy, okay? So I was thinking, and while I was talking, I was thinking, well, maybe our first stop should be Habitat for Humanity. And then I'm sure there's like a Goodwill around there. Oh, I need to get out of the house, by the way, because just looking around, I'm like, I, got, I feel like the walls are caving in, there's boxes everywhere, there's stuff shifted everywhere. I gotta get out of here, okay? The kids are out at soccer right now. So I feel like this is a good time for me to, you know, slide away for a little bit. <laughs> and we'll see what we can find. And if we can't find anything, that's that. But I have high hopes, okay? I always have high hopes. Goodwill might be right around the corner. Antique stores are always a dime a dozen here in Tampa. So what are we waiting for? Let me grab my phone, AKA Maps. Does anyone, because I, I know where nothing is. I've lived here for years and years. I still don't know where anything is. I know the way to the kids' school and the way home and, the, and my way to Target. Do you guys remember back before, you know, maps? I, I would go on MapQuest. I still call maps on my phone MapQuest to my friends. And they're like, what are you, you use MapQuest? I'm like, no, you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, I used to print out directions. I would like press on my car to get the mile ticker up because it would be like, turn right uh, one mile and this right and I would always get lost oh so I'm so thankful for a tech I love technology but not as much as you you see it must be a Napoleon Dynamite kind of day didn't I just quote that movie like or was it the same it was the same song always and forever you know what I just love Kip I feel a kinship toward him he's kind of awesome I'm semi awesome Let's just go. I've got maps. I need shoes. I have <gasps> my sweater because you know what? It's like 60 degrees outside. Okay, what's the temperature outside today? Expect a high of 75 and a low of 54. It feels so good. I know some of you are like, uh, that is not sweater weather. Well, for this Florida gal, it is. Let's head on out. <gasps> you know what else I can wear today? My boots. I feel like I bought two pairs of boots. Is that wrong? I have these boots. Do you wear socks with your boots? I'm not going to. All right, let's see how these look. How do they look? Should I change? Should I get other shoes? Let me grab my sweater. Maybe that'll change it. Hi, fall. Is that you? Ooh, ah. All right, let's go, that's enough. Gotta grab a snack for the road. Are the boots too much? Might be in too basic. Oh, look, it's fall. <laughs> First of all, I wanna remind you to hydrate. It purifies the soul. Also, I'm laughing at the amount of water bottles I have in my car. My soul is purified. Secondly, everywhere is closed today. <laughs> the Habitat for Humanity is closed. Another place that's close to me that sells a lot of furniture is closed. But I did find a place, well, I found two places. And wouldn't you know it, they're direct opposite locations from each other. So I am going to eeny, meeny, miny, mo one, and we're gonna head to one, but don't you worry, you're a little head. How's that T-Swift song go? Are there blueberries in here? <gasps> blueberries, these are still good. I'm gonna eat them, they're from yesterday. But it was cold all night. Ooh, still good. What was I saying? You're gonna see some antiques today, okay? Mind, don't you worry your pretty little mind. Cause people throw rocks at things that shine and that's enough of that, let's just go. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried that my GPS was gonna bring me to the wrong place. Finally found it. It's in the middle of nowhere, downtown Tampa. Uh, place looks great. Hopefully they're open because it says next market and then nothing. <laughs> Here it is. Vintage, retro, upcycle, industrial. Next market today, man. Anyone need a tub? Looks like a nice soaker. I mean, too bad I already bought all of our outdoor <laughs> furniture. Look at these gems. Oh, we do need a set for upstairs. Maybe a little bistro. Oh, wow, look at these planters. We haven't even gone inside yet. Wow, look at that. Okay, guess that price. Oh, it's a good one. Think of the gems that you can make out of this stuff, you know? Peep the clocks on the wall. I've been looking for some vintage clocks. Oh my gosh. 
Cuckoo clocks. There's more down here. <gasps> I never thought I would find one. Wow. I think this is the coolest place I've ever been. Look, oh, someone made this. Someone painted this. Oh, wow. We're going to find some good stuff here today. Oh, look. I wonder if I could change that picture out. There aren't any prices on anything that I see yet. Oh, there is on this one. 120. Okay, I asked for some prices, but look at these. Oh, can you even see them back there? Oh, they're so cute. Okay, up here, 50, 40. I literally just walked in. Like there is a whole showroom of gems to uncover. Check this guy out. I see a ton of mirrors. Oh, I love tables like that. Such a space saver. Okay, I have to kind of focus. Oh my gosh, how can you focus in a place like this? Look, it has a fish head. So many gems to see. So little time. Oh, a flamingo. Six dollars, it's a cane. Oh my gosh. What? If only it were my size. Oh, I love all the brass. Is this actual brass? I have no idea, guys. I saw an owl. Ooh, some jewelry down here. Oh yeah, if I was a teacher, yes ma'am. I found some bookends. These are pretty sweet. And then some candle operas. Ooh, there's a Greek horse right here. Now that is very cool. Stop it, it's a beauty salon hair dryer. Can you even imagine? This is what they used to use, you guys. That is amazing, it's $10. What? That'd be such a cool piece. This is the kind of stuff I love. Look at those old pictures. Oh, look, a record player. Live your dreams. It's great advice. All right, focus. I'm looking for furniture. Oh, I keep getting distracted by all the fun stuff. Check that bird cage. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh, check her hat out. She's sweet. What is that? A little telephone? That is so sweet. Wow, it's like I've never met myself. I thought, Kim, you're gonna come in here, look at furniture, put your blinders on. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh, this stuff is so cute. Speaking of the Statue of Liberty, I heard they're gonna stop letting people in it, but did you hear? I feel like when I was a kid, you could walk around the uh, flame. And then I heard some people telling me that that's like an urban legend but I'm pretty sure my dad has done it. Like I'm pretty sure I've seen pictures even. I don't know, man. That's pretty awesome too. Let me know if it's one of those like Mandela effects or something. <gasps> Look at this old vanity, this vintage gem. Ooh, 225. I feel like that's priced right. All I can go off of is like what other people are selling theirs for. I've been looking at a bunch of vintage pieces 125 oh my gosh look at this chair oh that's a nice one fifty dollars for this chair but like look oh my gosh it's broken oh so sad easy fix that you need some wood glue boom it's done but like they don't like look at the detail okay let's take a, a quick look around what i'm really looking for is a an antique buffet i have something very specific in mind holy schmoles at this armoire, 225. It is in great condition. Comes with a mirror. Look at the detail on this stuff. I just, I don't know. I guess I have an appreciation for it. Ooh, artwork. You guys know I love a good piece of artwork. Cows and dogs. Ooh. All right, let's see if we can find something cool and interesting and unique. I mean, I guess in a way, all of these pieces are unique. Ooh, if you like, oh my gosh, it's so loud. Ooh, that's really pretty. $55 for this one. All right, can you get a peek on that? $55. Man, they're so heavy. I don't know how much that one is, but uh. I actually don't even know if Avelina is into horses anymore. Oh my gosh, look for the movie room. Look, Rose from Titanic. <gasps> look, Nev Campbell from Scream, Men in Black. Who's that? Sylvester Stallone, Brad Pitt. Oh, this is fun. I don't know what it is, but like, that's pretty cool, man. A trunk full of frames. Why, why do I? Ooh, look at that back there. I'm just amazed. I guess I'm just looking around. These keg stands, these are pretty popular, I think. Check this piece, $150. Like, look at the legs on that thing. 
All right, what else is over here? Ooh, look, a um, an entry, don't actually know what they're called, you know, for when you're walking out the door. Okay, I guess we'll come back this way. Ooh, an old trunk. My dad has an old trunk. We used to store Christmas decorations in it. Oh my word. Look at that. Guess that price. It's $20. I don't know if I could handle her eyes though. She's really cute. I'm gonna put her aside. I love that they're loving on each other, you know? Ooh, that's abstract. I actually quite like this chest too. 200, gosh, I wonder how old that is. Oh, they have a ton of, what are these, books? Oh no, cigar boxes. Wow, they have a lot of them. Check out these retro chairs too. Like, oh my gosh, do you need a rocking chair? Forget Bye Bye Baby, come on down to this place, $165. Pretty sure that's cheaper than a brand new rocker and glider. I wonder how old this thing is too. Oh my gosh, alligators. I get a lot of questions about alligators on the lake at the place we're moving. Oh, <laughs> that would be fun just to display. All right, guess that right, $20, 35. Oh, check it, a little baby cedar. It's actually a cedar chest. It's a baby one, $30. Oh, you know what else I'm looking for? A decor piece for the laundry room. I'm looking for like an old timey, well, I found one, that's why I'm looking for one here because I don't want to pay shipping. Oh my gosh, $5 each reel. Anyway, it's uh, like a laundry ringer. I don't know what it's actually called, but I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled for one of those. Oh look, Halloween decorations. These don't look very vintage to me, but that's cool. Actually, that guy does, that guy does. Okay, my eyes are going da, 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 da. I don't know where to look. This is very pretty, $40, nice colors in there. It's got some nice colors in there. There is a healthy array of lamps up here. I was gonna show you these gourds because those look pretty amazing. And then this, I don't know, it's called a sloop. <laughs> I don't know. What on earth? A vintage shoe shine brush. We don't even buy shoes to shine anymore, right? <gasps> Look at this little cabinet, $40. What do you do? Oh, nothing. I'm looking for something for our uh, small bathroom upstairs to hold toilet paper. I found a really old little furniture piece that used to hold coal. Oh my goodness, look, someone repurposed this. Made it a, a bathroom vanity. The whole thing is $3.95. What? That's crazy sauce. All right, we have old granny's blankets over here. You guys know I love a good old granny blanket. Oh, and pillowcases. What is this little thing? $13? What? This little thing? It opens? You Think of all the things you could store in there, and it's on wheels. The wheels alone you bought those would be $13. Ooh, a bust. You know, I watched someone, I forgot her name. I, I just found her not too long ago. And in her office, she keeps her wedding dress on a mannequin like that. And I just think that's so darling. Ooh, look at that vintage uh, brush set. Oh, these are all the pretty things. I don't really own a lot of pretty things. Look at that clutch. Man, that's a big one. I have yet to find a buffet. <clears throat> Who's that dude? Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, I just tripped on something. A suitcase. Okay, now this is sweet. Wait, I don't even know what it is. I thought it was a clock. $135 for whatever that is. Look, a plant stand. Ooh, this desk. Ooh, shaving is a pleasure. <laughs> I love vintage books. And like, you know, when they talk about how to be a lady. I think it's just so funny. Even, you know, 50 years ago, a telephone. This is another thing on my list. Yes, please, $250. Oh, you son of a gun. Son of a gun. Uh, I'm actually looking for one that I can set down, but wouldn't that be cool? It wasn't that long ago that like people had actual phones like that. It's a sweet lamp. Oh, look at that desk too. That's so pretty. And that map. Holy crap, hold on, all these corner, um, oh, this one's broken. I remember when I was looking for a corner, what the heck is this called, China cabinet? Stop it, right the heck now. $75 for this bench. Look, it's like one of those wooden 
Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hold on, it has another price tag right here. <laughs> Been looking for one of the, these, maybe not this short. Oh, it says 95. I think the other tag was cheaper. <laughs> anyway, I might walk home with that. I don't know what I would do with it, but I feel like if I leave it, I'll regret not getting it. Like I was saying, I was looking for one of these for a while. I repurposed it on my channel a few years ago, um, but it was really hard for me to find a corner cabinet. Okay, here we go, a rustic table. I might have to go to Instagram to see if this is worth it. <laughs> I rely on your guys' opinion, uh, probably more than I should. <laughs> Speaking of little ladders, that's only $18. And then what, if you wanna weigh the produce? A kitchen scale, oh my gosh, yes. It's the perfect kitchen scale for you. Wow, I love that. Look at this bird cage too. I'm gonna carry this table around <laughs> until you guys help me make a decision. Oh my gosh. An outdoor tool bench. There's some. It's so cool. Oh wow, it's so cool. It's so cool over there. I'm just kidding. I'll show you in a second. I didn't even notice this chair. I think maybe it's a set. It goes with it, but that is marvelous in and of itself. $150 for this dresser. What? If you go to Haverty's right now, do you know how much a dresser cost? A million. That's just a roundabout number. That's just an estimate. Could be a million and a half. Look at all these little boxes. What are people storing back in the day? I don't feel like I don't have anything to store. I, you know what I mean? A bread box maybe? I don't have jewelry. I don't have anything. Even just this hutch, $195 for this. What is this, like a secretary desk? It's not a hutch, it's a secretary desk. I know nothing. I told you this. Actually, that's what I know. You know how I know that? Went to Goodwill the other day and I almost bought one and then I didn't. Ooh, more clocks. I do love wooden bowls. It's a basket full of wooden hangers, if that's your thing. Oh my gosh, a beach bungalow. Maybe I need a lighthouse. Are there lighthouses on a lake? Look, a fire station. Someone had their own whole town set up. Right, look at this coffee table. It's a little different than the rustic look. Did we see these? I feel like I didn't see them. What's that? <laughs> oh my gosh, knobs. It's a pretty sweet way, way to uh, display them. Check these doors out too. And this um, beam, it's pretty amazing. It's over here, I still don't see a buffet. I'm still looking though, okay? I have not given up. Is that a sled? Ow, oh, I found a sled, you guys. I mean, I live in Florida, $100. That is purely for display purposes only. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful this one is. That oh my goodness, it's an ice box. It's a vintage ice box, $525. Does anyone remember having to use one of these? I definitely don't. My dad, maybe, <laughs> did. <laughs> you just put a block of ice in there and it keeps everything cold. And it keeps your food cold. Oh, look. All you trendy people trying to get frothers for your coffee. Here's one, $40. Stop it right now. This is not the buffet of my dreams, but it is very, very close. I'm looking for something with four legs. Ah, uh, wow, uh, hold on, uh, I can't speak because I'm kind of taken aback. Is there a back on this? <gasps> there is, I want a little detail in the back. Oh my gosh, guess that price. 400 okay well shoot me right in the foot because i found one on facebook marketplace for uh 200 oh boy oh oh boy someone else is looking at it they might outbid me well while they're stealing my dreams i can come over here and look at this uh fireplace set someone redid this for sure i love the color <gasps> behind me. Okay, I was at a garage sale the other day and they wanted to sell me, I think it was like a set of these with the lids. There were three of them. They stacked inside of each other for like five bucks. And I walked away, I said, no, it was not a good day for me. You know how you, some days you're, oh my gosh. Some days you're just not in the mood. And that was one of those days. And now I kind of feel like, man, I still don't really, you know, it doesn't tickle me. It doesn't bring me that much joy. Like this is pretty cool, it's unique. Ooh, $22 for a bowl. Yeah, I can go to Home Goods. <gasps> but a matching set? Wow. I mean, I still don't really even know my style, but pretty, pretty things. They have a whole bunch of, I don't really even know what kind of metal this is. Pewter, 
What on earth is this? A meat grinder, maybe? I don't know. What is that, a can opener or something? That's a sifter, I know that. Oh, a whole bunch of uh, more sifters. Can you even see where is the light blinding? Blinded by the light. Like this is pretty cool, it's tin. These would be pretty fun to decorate with. Oh my gosh, look at all these old spices. Wait, if you have some in your cabinet, $6, you could sell your old spice tins for money. Wow, you know what? I should start looking for Christmas gifts. People love vintage things for Christmas gifts. Am I making that up? <gasps> A bunch of rolling pins. That's what I could store in my wine cellar that I don't have. It's a great idea. Vintage rolling pins. I'm actually in the market also for some wooden spoons. I want some wooden spoons. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Here's a couple, but nah, those don't excite me. $35 for this. Oh, look at all those eggs. They're fake. Or they're really old. You'll definitely get salmonella from those. Oh, a bunch of ladles. <laughs> oh, look, a little picnic set. <gasps> and they brought their Skippy with them. The creamy kind. Does that say 43 cents they paid? What, something's inside. Did someone make a candle out of this? Holy crap, that's just the jar. That's how heavy it was. Wonder how much shipping cost. What's in here? Maybe some jelly was in there. Making themselves some PBs and Gs. This is beautiful too, this cabinet. I love how it's glass and all open. All right, guess that price, 350. Who needs a KitchenAid? 350 for that. Who needs a KitchenAid when you have this? This is really nice too. 250 for this one. All right, let's go back to the buffet and uh, cry. Oh my gosh, but before we do that, before we ruin our makeup, what is this, a caboose stove? Where else are you gonna find one of that? Definitely not at Home Goods. I'm just saying. I swear on my life. I don't know if I was at a garage sale or what, but I saw this recently. Very, very recently. I wanna say like last week, maybe Goodwill. I saw this, guys. I'm not even getting you. I have some of this exact stuff. How much could I make if I sold mine? $15. I feel like there's still some inside. <laughs> Old fashioned peanut crunch. Okay, I'm really amazed here. Here's uh, my dreams. My hopes and dreams, we're gonna leave it here with this $400 buffet. Uh, we're entering in the toy zone, the kids. Look how cool that is. Instagram influencers haven't caught wind of stuff like this yet. Oh, and then we have some VHS tapes. Ew. Oh my gosh, look, it's Timmy and Johnny's room. Oh my gosh. Look, they even have grandma's blanket on their bed. Is that a rug? ABCs, that's an old chalkboard. Look at this older vanity as well, or a dressing booth. I actually don't know what it's called. Vanity, yeah, vanity. $325, that is a beautiful. Ooh, a chest on the other side. Oh no, the, this is another vanity. Different style. Look, street light, it's missing the stop. But I think I saw another one. Hold on, what is this? It's a fruit press. $200 for that fruit press. A paddle, a couple of paddles. That's lake house worthy, but uh, not for $50. Look, another stoplight. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. In here, oh my gosh, old keychains. I'm really contemplating getting this piece. It says a project piece, which it most definitely is. I think if I came home with this, Alex would be like, Kim, really? It's like a project that is beyond my level of expertise. Really any project is, but I feel like just like this in my house, I'd be happy about it. I could still store my crap in it, you know? Back before we had phones to store our wealth of knowledge and phone numbers. Oh my gosh, could you imagine being like, oh, I need someone's number, you know what I mean? It wasn't too long ago. Now I'm taking my time to really look at stuff. This is a sundial. I don't know why sundials intrigue me so much. $60, a little steep for me. I'm sure we can negotiate prices here, but then I saw these two candlesticks. I wish there was a third one. Ugh, I think I would totally buy them if there was a third one. Maybe I'll just buy the two, I don't know. It's like $8 and $7. I think those would be pretty cute pieces. Hold up, I just looked at the tag. It said three for 20. 
Um, I'm gonna try to find the third one, see if someone picked it up and moved it or something, because I saw a similar set of like three. It's pretty trendy, it's all over the place, maybe anthropology or like, I don't know, some place that I don't shop at. Just trying to sell them. You know what, I'm just gonna ask the guy. So I asked if they had the third set. Turns out that they don't. Someone bought it, sad story. But they do have this set. Kinda look, kind of looks like mushrooms. They are kind of cool. First time I saw them, I said, nah. But now that I'm picking them up, they're really heavy. I would be slightly worried about my kids knocking each other upside the head with them. I'm gonna have to think on that. That's like, you know, from the game Clue. When someone's like, oh, killed him with the candlestick. It's that kind of candlestick. It's so heavy. All right, I'm going through this trunk of old picture frames. You're never gonna guess what I found. I actually was watching someone on YouTube go antiquing and she found a frame with butterflies on it. And I was it's just filled with envy. So I found this one. I think I'm gonna take this one home. I love it so much. Oh my word, I, wait, are these mailboxes? Oh, okay, old mailboxes. I thought this was like an old apothecary. Oh, okay, well then never mind. <laughs> And this is a hilarious representation of my life at the supermarket when I bring my kids with me. <laughs> Love that. Oh my word, look, I was saying I need a, uh-oh, I was saying that I would like a fanny pack. Now that is the kind of fanny pack I'm looking for. It's only 12 bucks. How's it look? Look, I was saying I needed somewhere to store my toilet paper. <laughs> is that vintage? Every time I turn a corner, I find something new. Look at these trivets. I am in need of some trivets. This is a beautiful vintage bowl with a lid. Gosh, look at those colors. It's $25. Oh, that's gorgeous. And they have a whole set here for you. So I found some pretty cool scores at the antique store, which happens to be like a hop, skip, and a jump away from Ikea. So I'm gonna stop in at Ikea and see if they have anything on like clearance or whatever. And being here makes me want a hot dog real bad. I'm actually staying in the area because I wanna pick up a headboard that I found on Facebook Marketplace that's close to here, but she's not home yet. So I'm just filling time until she gets home, but I'm gonna pop into the clearance section and see if they have any headboards. I don't know. Oh my word, they have Christmas stuff out. <gasps> Should I film a Christmas shop with me at Ikea? Okay, here's their as is clearance section. I see some rugs. What, unless this is someone's cart. They don't look like they were used. Some bathroom vanities. I see some chairs. Oh, this uh, um, side table. Doesn't look like it's a great price, really. We do need some bar stools. Okay, so far I don't see Anything I need. I have some random stuff over here. Oh, a rug. I am in need of a rug. 75, normally 130. I don't know about this one. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, I might film an Ikea Christmas shop with me and then post it later. <laughs> well, goodbye Ikea. They did not have a hot dog, sad to report. I'm scanning, trying to look for my car. I can never find it. But you guys know me, I got the ham and cheese baguette. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so while I was waiting for that woman to respond to me her address, I'm like right next to her, but I could have drove home and back four times by now. I filmed a Christmas shop with me at Ikea and here's the baguette I got. Oh, drool, or the, look at that. The type of lettuce that they put in here. It's truly artisan. Oh gosh, I just put my fingers all in the Dijon. This type of sandwich reminds me of my Oma. It must be the, the quality. It just smells so good. I remember being impressed with it last time. All right, so I'm gonna check my messages. If the lady having, has not given me her address yet, I'm just gonna head home. Um, there's also two more headboards that I put offers in on, on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll, I don't even know where they live. They don't live in, in South Tampa, so. I'll have to pick those up maybe later tonight or something, but I need to get home, get some food in my kids' bellies and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna drive home. You're never gonna believe this. I'm just in my car, minding my own business, eating my sandwich, and she responded back with her address. So I'm on my way to pick up the bed frame. 
Is it a twin? I need to get one twin and two full bed frames for the kids because we have those size mattresses. Okay, I'm home. A lot has transpired, I feel like, in my head anyway. Few things. I went to pick up the bed, but they didn't have anything to disassemble it, and I didn't have anything. So I did end up getting some stuff for her randomly. It's a long story, but I didn't get the bed, so we're gonna have to reschedule going back out there. It's a long drive, I'm just saying. And then the buffet table that I was telling you guys about, did I even tell you guys about it? I don't know. Oh, the one at the antique store you saw. But there was another one on Facebook Marketplace for selling for 200 And I said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But then I, oh, I asked her something and she said, oh, someone's getting it. And then, of course, I was like, oh, I missed out. And then I messaged her and we're trying to negotiate things. So still up in the air on that one. And now I'm thinking, cause I post on my Instagram about that rustic wooden table. It was pretty much 50, 50 people were saying, pass it, get it. But I feel like the people who were saying, get it are pretty passionate about it. And that's my one regret purchase. There's always something that I'm like, oh man, I should have gotten that. You know, the two piece yellow ensemble should have gotten, but. Anyway, there's that. I'm home. I'm probably gonna cut up a pineapple, maybe grab a snack. I don't know, it's getting pretty close to dinner, so I might just wait. We're making pork steaks for dinner tonight. I don't know about the sides, maybe just a bag salad and call it a night. Uh, for now, I guess we'll just cut up some, some stuff. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't I feel like it yields so much more pineapple when I don't use the core, right? Doesn't it look like so much more? It's a good pineapple. At first I thought maybe it was a bad one, but it's good. Uh, well, it turns out I found some cantaloupe in the fridge outside. Uh, cantaloupe, I don't know how long it's been there, so. We're gonna cantaloupe. see, it looks good. I feel like I just bought it. Cantaloupe. I, uh, cantaloupe. I recently ran to Costco to get some fruits and veggies, so. Cantaloupe. cantaloupe. I'm sure that's when I got it. So cantaloupe. it looks really good. Looking for it, I'm gonna cut these both up. And then I figured, well, since I'm in the kitchen anyway, I'm gonna throw together some waffles for the week ahead. I'm just gonna make up this whole pouch. I have two of these pouches, but I don't know if I have enough milk, so we're gonna see what I have. I'm gonna make as much as I can just to prepare us for breakfast, for the week ahead, right, Meredith? You like waffles? I love waffles. You love waffles? I love waffles. Waffles. Smile that makes the sun rise. You 
make it shine But I can see that you don't realize And that's what made me fall in love Okay, this is what I have meal prepped for the week. Just some waffles. And the smell of these brought everyone into the kitchen. They have like a maple syrupy kind of smell. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, can I eat a waffle? And I was like, ah, dinner's coming soon. So I'm probably gonna make that next. We have waffles, cantaloupe, and pineapple. A nice array, a little buffet. Okay, I'm gonna doctor up these beans because they're not bushes, you know what I mean? Uh, and even when I buy Bush's baked beans, I always doctor them up anyway. Two cans? That's a lot. What was I thinking? I also normally add a can of white beans to it. Where's my tripod? Did I say I normally use white beans? Uh, I have a bean thief in my house. Every time I need one can of beans, I buy ten. And then when I go to use that one can of beans, it is no longer available. I'm also going to add some seasonings because... The, the, listen, those beans just need some help. I don't even know what I'm adding. Just some random stuff I found in my pantry. Oh, and then I like to add some brown sugar. That always makes it taste delicious. I think this could benefit from some Worcestershire sauce that gives it some depth. I don't typically add that, but like these cans of beans are just begging for it. A little bit of ketchup, ugh. Did they make it? Nah. And then a little bit of mustard. I got some mustard from Ikea today. Do you know they sell mustard at Ikea? That's plenty. Good enough. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what else I'm gonna add? Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Bacon makes everything better. Even though I am making pork steaks, which if you don't know, pork steaks steaks uh they look like this they're some of our favorite meats it's cheaper than a steak also it's pork so it's uh the other white meat i'm just gonna crumble in some bacon because that just makes everything taste better you know if i can ever get this open whip up a salad grill up those pork steaks i've got the the gfg over here tried and true all right i have my pork steaks laying out and you know what it kind of looks like a placenta it kind of does, I'm just saying. I'm gonna season them with, hold on. I'm washing my hands, calm down. A little bit of seasoning salt, or maybe a lot bit, okay? A little bit of garlic powder. If you think about it, meat alone doesn't taste good. It tastes good when you add seasonings and when you add, you know, vegetables to it. Anyway, uh, I don't know what this is. Steak seasoning, hamburger seasoning, really whatever you have. The first time I had this, they use seasoning salt and garlic powder and it tasted like a dream. It also tastes much better when you make it on a grill, which we typically do, but you know, sometimes you're in a pinch and you need dinner on the table a little faster than a grill can do it. So I'm using the GF, a G. Did I put enough garlic powder on here? The more the merrier, that's what I always say. Plop them on the grill, season side down, and then I'm going to season Scoot over. There we go, we made it fit. And then I'm gonna season this side. I still can't, oh my, ooh, that's a lot. I still can't find my drip tray for this thing. I bet you I'll find it when we move and then I'll never use this thing again. I'm just going to add all the bacon. If this doesn't help it taste better, then there's just no hope for it after all. I'm gonna pop these in the microwave and uh, heat them up. Okay, this is dinner. It is complete. The pork steaks are fantastic. Uh, seasoned to perfection, if you ask me. I have this bagged salad from Costco. I just put half of it in. It's everything uh, chopped salad. It's like everything but the bagel seasoning is in here. And then the baked beans that we put together. And then I'm just going to put 
out the leftovers from last night. I made pad thai. This was amazing. This was like, I'm trying to get go through stuff in my freezer, in my pantry. I had a lot of cilantro on here as like a side. We ran out of it, but this was so good. Onion, red bell pepper. I had the rice noodles that I needed to work through. I put cashews on top of it to those of us who weren't allergic. Carrots are in here. Just a bunch of really great stuff, so. This was, I was really proud of this dish. It tasted a uh, gourmet, and there's that. So, a uh, bon appetit. Happiness, cause love is in the air. Everybody knows it's laundry time. It is the next day. Last night was a long night. I used one of the strips, works fine. Clothes smell fine, they look clean, whatever. I figure, well, I need to fold laundry, so I might as well get you guys up to speed. So, I've been wanting some, oh my gosh, what am I sitting on? First of all, what am I sitting on? This, <laughs> I got from Facebook Marketplace. I shared the other things that I got with you on Facebook Marketplace in a previous uh, vlog, but I we just picked this one up not too long ago. I plan on refinishing it. Obviously it has some, uh, you know, some wear and aging is what I like to call it. It has some aging on it. One side is a chest, the other side has drawers. Oh, I can't believe I didn't share this with you. It's so exciting, hold up. Look how pretty it is. Just think of the possibilities. Look, the drawers all work. It's great. Look at these little drawers. You can put remotes in it, whatever. All the drawers are functional, uh, obviously. Just some aging. That's just life, you know? It's lived some life over here. And then the other side is a chest where you can put blankets or whatever you put in a chest in your living room. This is going to be a coffee table. We normally don't have a coffee table because, you know, it takes up so much space, but our living room at the new house is pretty substantial in size. So I picked this up and I've been looking a lot on Pinterest. Every night when I put Meredith to sleep, I just scroll on Pinterest trying to find out like what kind of home decor style that I like. And I found, what is it called? I, French cottage or something like that. So I plan on refinishing this. I don't know what color I'm gonna paint it. I might leave the top wood. I might leave it all wood and just stain it. I'm not sure. But I found something similar because, oh my gosh, you're never gonna guess how much I paid for this. Holy crap, you guys. I know this vlog is forever long. I really appreciate you hanging out with me <laughs> for so long. I can't believe, thank you. I know you have a busy life, so I appreciate your time. Okay, so, so much to say about this one little piece, you know? So I paid, I didn't wanna say it out loud, I can't believe it, $30 for this solid wood. What? Unreal! Because I will tell you, I've been looking around for other coffee tables and pieces like this. You can't even find a bedside table for $30. It's insane what people wanna charge for nothing. $30 blowing my mind. So I went on line because it was like two weeks of back and forth. She wasn't home or I couldn't come pick it up. And I just kept thinking someone else is going to get it. So I better, you know, try to look for something else. So I was looking on Wayfair or whatever. And I don't like to buy, you know, new if I can help it. So, I, I mean, I looked on Wayfair anyway, and I Googled it and tried to find different things and I found something so similar to this. A lot of the pieces were selling for $400, $500, and I found something like over a thousand dollars that looked, I wanna say exactly like this, but you know, it's been a couple of weeks for me. So anyway, needless to say, I'm very happy about this piece that I got. It is very exciting. And I don't think I shared with you the pieces that I got from the antique store. So I'll try to share those with you if I remember. But then I also, someone is coming to deliver a headboard and footboard, a full size, and it's for Avelina. They live, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes away. 
And I said, oh, can you give me the measurements? I don't know if it's gonna fit in my van. And he said, let me just bring it by. <laughs> I was like, what, there are nice people in the world? He's bringing it by. I'm gonna throw him extra money for like going out of his way and stuff, but he didn't ask for extra money. I don't know, man. I don't know if he was just really eager to get it out of his house or what. Anyway, so that should be here soon. So maybe I'll have a clip of that to share with you. Who the heck knows? And I told you I went to pick up the twin headboard and that was a, a big old fail. I'm gonna have to reschedule doing that. And there's one other headboard that they finally got back to me. It's like people on Facebook Marketplace, they either respond within a minute or it takes them a week to get back to you. And so every day I've been messaging this person, hey, I'm still interested. Hey, I just need an address. I could be there today kind of thing. So they finally got back to me and they said, oh, that's great here, you know, this is where I am. What's a good time? So hopefully we'll be able to pick that up today as well. So that will be for Eleanor. It's a headboard. So now what I have to do is look for bedding. And I, I don't want like character bedding. I want bedding that they're going to be able to grow with. I don't want to have to replace it when they no longer like rainbows and unicorns or Harry Potter, whatever, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to look for semi-neutral. So if you guys have a good place to buy that stuff, maybe Amazon, I don't know. I was thinking maybe Kohl's would have something. I don't even know if Home Goods sells um, like quilts. I know they have a lot of blankets. Maybe I'll head there too. I don't know. We'll see what's in my future, but for now it is laundry. And I think we're gonna, just gonna end it here. I appreciate you hanging out with me for so long. If you want to, go check out Thrive Market. My link will be in the description box below, thrivemarket.com slash the wads. You can get 25% off your first order and a free gift. Man, you guys are so awesome. Thanks for hanging out. If you want to, subscribe. Put a little happy in your day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.